In this video, we're going to talk about the total payout model for valuing a firm. So previously, we talked about the dividend discount model and how it would value the firm based on a stream of dividends that are going to take place going on into the future, and it'll take the present value of those dividends to come up with a valuation. However, when we use the dividend discount model, we're not taking into consideration share repurchases. And share repurchases are important because for one, they reduce the amount of cash that's available to pay dividends. And then two, they also decrease the share count, which is going to affect earnings per share, and it's going to affect dividends per share. So the total payout model attempts to address this deficiency of the DDM by accounting for share repurchases. So just to kind of compare and contrast with the dividend discount model, we're going to have our share price being equal to essentially the present value of the future dividends per share. So it's just looking at the firm as a stream of dividends into the future, and it's discounting those dividends back to the present. The total payout model, we're going to be taking the present value of the future total dividends and share repurchases, and then dividing that by the amount of shares outstanding to come up with a share price. And I know that's a little abstract, so let's get into the specifics. When we talk about the present value of future total dividends and repurchases, uh, we're going to calculate that as follows. We're going to have dividends and repurchases, and then to discount that, to take the present value, we, we divide it by the cost of equity capital. That's that R sub E here. And then we subtract the growth rate. That's what that G is. And that G is going to actually be, I'm going to put a little arrow here. This is not the growth rate of earnings per share. Right, so this is the growth rate of earnings. So I, I really want to make that clear. It's a difference here. This is earnings, not earnings per share growth rate. And then we take all of that, once we've discounted that, then we take that and divide it by the number of shares outstanding. Let's jump into an example. It'll make it a little easier for you to understand. So let's say that you want to value this tech firm, ABC Technologies. And so you've got the following information about this firm. Actually, let me a little more space so you can see you also know the number of shares outstanding is a hundred thousand we've got a growth rate of earnings is seven percent cost of equity capital eleven percent and then you've got during the year seventy five thousand dollars in dividends and then fifty thousand dollars in share repurchases so now to calculate this we're just going to apply this model right here so let me let me change colors here so we have seventy five thousand dollars in dividends and then we're going to add in the 50,000 in repurchases now look I just took the numerator right here and then I just used these numbers that's all we're doing is we're just plugging in now we're going to take this and we're going to divide it by the cost of equity capital minus the growth rate of earnings cost of equity capital is 11 percent growth rate of earnings is 7 percent so we're just going to have 0.11 minus 0.07 and we're, I'm just going to put this all in parentheses because we're going to take this whole thing and divide it by the number of shares outstanding, which I'll just drop down so you can see that. That's 100,000. Right, so we've got 100,000. All of this, this is going to give us our share price. So I'm running out of space a little bit here. Let me, there we go. So now we just go ahead and, and we just do the, do the math here, do the algebra. And I'll, I'll break it down. So we're going to have... 125,000 divided by 0 0.04. That's just simplifying what's in this parentheses up here. And then we divide that by 100,000. And then that's ultimately going to give us a share price of, let me change it, $31.25. This is our share price of ABC Technologies valued according to the total payout model. Now, see the difference between the dividend discount model and this total payout model is we've factored in this share repurchase, right? We're looking at all the distributions to equity holders, dividends and share repurchases, whereas the dividend discount model was just looking at the stream of dividends and discounting that. 